What? Think about how old you are. And some. And some. <laughs> Terribly. Yeah, this stuff I mean, was out there before you was born. Remember we lived on 151st Coffee US Slam? Remember we went to Eagle Pitcher? Yeah. yeah, that's how long it's been. We how long played, that? And we played in EJ and E Park. Park, right. And so, so that's a, you know, people don't have a history of that. They no, don't, they don't. They, they don't, don't understand. understand. I mean, you said that back. They don't yeah. understand. That baby park. Remember we used to play in the baby park? <laughs> Look at it now. I wouldn't even walk over in that field. You know, when it's raining, it's got all that black water and stuff in there. We used to go in the back of EJ and E to hunt for tadpoles, mm -hmm. frogs, mm -hmm. rabbits. When the green man yeah, was used to go there. back there with the. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you remember that? The green man. It was yeah. something back there. It was, was around green. Halloween time. Remember we used to have that? Yeah. It was something back there that was green. It mm -hmm. didn't normally show itself until around Halloween time. But mm -hmm. When you had teachers, I remember Coach Sawacki and some of those guys used to come out there with their shotguns. And hunt. And, uh, no, mm. and look and help trying to find the green. <laughs> but you know what's so stunning is that we didn't know, as young people, our parents didn't know, oh, my grandma was still living, they didn't know. They didn't know what lead was. They didn't know the danger of the lead. You know what I'm saying? Sure. We really didn't. Sure. Hmm? Listen. I always tell this story. Tell me, you can record me. Okay? I am recording you. Okay. Because this is a debate that needs to be heard. Listen, when we were growing up, we weren't allowed to swim in Washington pool. Oh, no. Oh, no. Blacks couldn't mm -hmm. swim there. And, 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 and in Chicago, either. In Kosciuszko, you can forget mm -hmm. about Kosciuszko. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, but they wouldn't allow us. We couldn't go cross the railroad out. Right. <laughs> yeah, so we, didn't, we, we won't even discuss that. You know. But, but wait a minute. We couldn't even go cross Kennedy to Hunky Town. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. We couldn't mm -hmm. swim in Washington. Mm -hmm. So, right down here on Kennedy, going down to Hammond, in the back where the canal is at, mm -hmm. the overflow was behind the park where they had to cat, cat, cat tails and all that, mm -hmm. that was our swimming pool. We swam in that crap. In the canal? Mm -hmm. We swam in that. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Okay? That's so horrible. So they would overflow and bag up in the park. Yep, baby park. So we mm -hmm. would, when it, when it got that deep, we swam. Mm -hmm. We went swimming. It still overflows out there when it's raining. I know it does. Mm -hmm. In but not like when it was worse before they put them railroad tracks out there. And I mean, and you can uh, can you imagine what we were swimming in? Okay. And if we didn't swim, we waded in the water. We didn't know no better. We didn't know any better. We didn't know any better. So and, there. And, and so you imagine how many of us literally drank that kind of water. You know, how you gonna swim and don't get nothing in your mouth? So there's there's a Facebook page called Hell Yeah E Chicago, and it's has a lot of like old people that moved out of here. So it's mostly whites, mm -hmm. and they talk about how E Chicago was so diverse and all the, everybody got along all the time. I don't think it but was they, so much everybody got along. Right, but everybody knew they, that knew their place. Knew their place. We knew our place. Put it like that. That's you know, very we different. Didn't them we knew across the right. tracks, mm -hmm. as the old honky town mm -hmm. was called. Mm -hmm. At nighttime, your ass mm -hmm. get, better not be over there. And you know the best. What I say all the time, they only let the gate up on Halloween. Now we went there on Halloween, cause that's where all the good candy was. Yeah. So they opened the gate, let us in there on Halloween. Yeah. But by eight o'clock, when it started to dark, we had to come back across yeah. the track. Get so, your ass across the track. <laughs> so what do you think of like honky town now? Um, because Calumet is getting so much attention, they're now trying to identify themselves as East Calumet. Because now they know that their ass got the same shit we got. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Excuse my language. Mm -hmm. You know, now they want to let people know. Now they want to be part of us. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. I was part of that. Yeah, yeah I'm right. Mm -hmm. You was part of it. And the mm -hmm. EPA, the one that gave them that East Calumet name. Yeah. Because yeah. they've always been Hunky Town or Riley Park. Or Riley that, Park that, neighborhood. That's, that's it. Park. Then when all of this happened, 
EPA put the name East Cayman. They never connected itself with From us. From Griselli to Parrish. Mm -hmm. It has never been a term they ever used no. until until the Eat Superfund site. Right. And that was a way to gain some standing. Mm -hmm. When they start saying East Cayman, mm -hmm. what the hell is that? <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to be facetious or nothing. It's just they don't go to Cali. They exist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and Cali. There's a lot of young people that's like in their twenties. They don't understand it. They say East Cali because they grew up with the name like Riley, either Riley Park. That's the younger yeah. people call it Riley Park. Older people like us, we call it Hunky Town. Right. Yep. You know. Mm -hmm. that's but Cali Met Days. I mean, they're not. They don't organize Cali Met Days. They're not a part of that. No. But there may be You're a few. The came that they picked. No, yeah. they don't. They don't have anything to do with that. But this is confusing yeah. things now that they're trying to adopt your name. That is strictly yeah. Calumet. It's, it's this yeah. West Calumet yeah. is they, they've labeled us now. Yeah. But none of Hunky Town is mm -mm, part mm -mm. of that. Well, absolutely not. The Calumet they picked it comes from Calumet, West right. Calumet. West so Calumet. we should probably make that clear at every public meeting. Yeah. That this is I not. Mean, they're Riley people Park. People know. Well, people from around here they know. Yeah. From Kennedy back to there. Mm -hmm. It's Cayman. Railroad Avenue is the uh, cut the rest, off. I mean, you know, cut off. Riley Railroad. Park, mm -hmm. excuse the, the pun, but that was called Hunky Town. Mm -hmm. yeah. You talk to anybody now 50 years or older. older and ask them about Hunky Town. And, and, they, don't, and they don't look at it like. They're like oh like they race it so they think say yeah I remember Hunky Town yeah. they even say it yeah right. well it's yeah. Hungarian now, town yeah it's a Hungarian Hunky is from Hungarian short, from what you told me Hungarian. Hungarian so you know so some people here that's not from here like media and all that Hunky they look at it like wow you know? and you lived in Hunky Town for a little you bit did. When so I my home, but you never called yourself East Cali Met when you lived there no it was always Hunky Town yeah and I, when I when I bought my house and, and on my block, there were five blacks, and within two years, there were not a, a white family on the block, except for uh, Andy that stayed on the end of the block. And he, you know, real good guy, real good guy. But they sold out so fast, man. Mm -hmm. And they got a big buck for them homes. They got a big buck once they realized. You know, hey, we can get seventy, eighty thousand dollars for these homes. Hmm. I sell it to a communist. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm a communist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was. Uh, I, but I don't have no regrets because I think when we grew up, we grew up in a better time than these people, the kids today. Like my daughter and them age and all that. They don't know what it was to, to have fun. You know to. Uh, to do the things we did as family, you know? So I think our time was better. I, I'm, I, if I had a choice between growing up today and growing up back Hello. then, I would take back then any day over today. No, no doubt. Hello? No doubt. So, all right, so you think we can redevelop West Calumet oh, yeah. into housing? Yes. And you want the moving forward funds for the most... For, oh. in, for some... What's this, two? Zone two, yes. Calumet. Because every, every, just, just the like fix they're it. doing at Sunnyside. Right. Like one rep, uh, councilman told me, he said, he didn't understand why they were using that money in Sunnyside. It should be used over here so, in Calumet. This is clearly the hardest hit neighborhood yeah. in the, probably the state. Are we more on this redevelop? And you should, I mean, redevelop our, you know, what you call it, what I call it, uh, uh, revitalize the area. Right. And new Duke. sidings, new windows. Yeah. You know, do what and, you got to do. And Duke, you you you're trying to be realistic because you know the contamination here. I know, but these houses are What's, not going anywhere. They're still right. here. That's what I'm saying. And they need to tear them all down and and, and compensate these people. They're not going to do it. These people well, they can do it. Not that so, they're not going to do it. But there's been no co offers to compensate no, anybody, no. right? Why, why would trying they to offer, trying to chase them out. Why no. would they make an offer when? They not got to the point where they need to. Let me tell you something that is being missed all along. I'm I'm standing on my word that maybe seventy five percent of these homes in Cayman are not owned by Cayman people. That's changed. It's now all rental, right? It's rental uh, property. And, and, and I don't mean to uh, 
a racial overture. Whites bought up a lot of this property anyway. Mm -hmm. And blacks that were smart enough to come up with some money bought the risk. Mm -hmm. That's right. On this block alone, which is not even a block alone, uh, this is a family owned house. I can start, and they all used to be family. Oh, I can start from 151st, go all the way down, come down Kennedy, and I can't find five homeowners that I can count. Yeah. Everything's wrong. Running maybe. Where all the homes are. Yeah. Where the few mm -hmm. blocks with with family owned homes. Mm -hmm. Maybe. But this is all rental property. Still. You know, the people that that wanna stay here don't own. Yeah. You know, compensate these homeowners and if I had the money, if I had the money, I'd buy me a house out here and renovate it the way I want it. Mm -hmm. I, I, I asked my son, he said, Mom, I'm not doing that. Because yeah, who are you going to sell it to? I told him, you ain't got to stay here. You can still go to Chicago and move. He said, Mom, you, you really want to? I said, yeah, to me, this is my house. I ain't going to sell it to nobody. I'll buy one of these houses and fix it up myself, for myself. So I'll it, buy the house. So that's the difference. That's the difference here is that. I would buy a home out here, one of these homes. You live I, in I'd it. I'd take a home like that or a home like that and fix it up and I'll move in it. Yeah, so you. be my home. That's the difference, and that's what you're living is that difference, is that you're, would, you're using the value. Yeah. You're mm -hmm. using the value of the home. Mm -hmm. And right now, Duke, you're using the value of this home, but you're concerned about the exchange value. Yeah, right. Like, who would ever buy, who, who and you'd lose buy? your money? Who would nobody buy? I don't care nobody buy. I remember when I, I bought my house. Yeah. my grandkids. I remember when I bought my house in East Chicago. Of course, I, I'm yeah. a white guy yeah. who bought at the top of the market in East Chicago. And you got a big old house. And... and the first thing I recognized is when I started renovating it was I'll never get the value out of it, yeah. exchange mm -hmm. value. So I'm going to live my life right. in it. Yeah, I'm going to live here. And then where you and, live and at, and depend that's on a prosperous area where he lives because all the home, you know, the brick but, homes, but, but, they go yeah. mansions and Tom, stuff. Tom, I bet you Tom can tell you, even in his neighborhood, you catch hell trying to sell a house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't sell it to, at the price that you it's bought price, it anymore. Right, right. And that price it took cost you put into fixing no, it. Mm -hmm. You never get. You never, you never get, get your. Value. Yeah. And none of these homes around here really. And the only way I can get value out of my house is if I lift up the whole city first. Yeah. And the, my neighbors and neighborhoods like this. Mm -hmm. You still wouldn't get the value, not in East Chicago. Not, 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 in not, Chicago. not in our lifetime. Right. Yeah. Right. No, 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 no. It might so, happen in the future, I, I, but I, I, we won't be around to see it. But we're no. tied because of the economy. Mm -hmm. You know, our children, our grandchildren, probably will see it, but we won't. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We the might. homes that they built here, the housing, you know, the scattered homes you see throughout the community, they're not building anymore. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, and they're having and, to put such and, incentives and with them, anything they, they do new, build. New types of homes. You know, because you know, I think a lot of these homes been here almost 20, 100 years, ain't it? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, you see a lot of them, like they renovate them and, you know, put a little side on it. But the foundation, all that's still 100 years old. Still 100 years old. Yeah. Well, I, I, I would love the government to be truthful with these people and, and call it what it is. Why they don't? I mean, they see this is really a poor area. So what, what they, I mean, why, why are they scared to, why not just tell the people what's really going you on? You don't have a, you know, I don't know. You, you just don't have the right people saying the right things. Hell, yeah, the EPA director's gone. They won't even say the right thing. No, they can't. They, they, they can't. They can't. You, you got a person. Because you got a person over them. Tell you them. got a president that just danced into a whole different mm -hmm. drum. So what's his name that came to visit us? You know, they got him all on the internet. He talking about uh, you know what I'm talking about the black man that's over hood housing. 
Ben Carson. Ben Carson. Ben Carson. He wants to cut. He don't know his. Oh, and that man eating him up. He don't he know. He can't answer story. nothing. Ben Carson. He's not even. Uh, he's what is he before he be, uh, was elected? I uh, pointed that he was a doctor, right? A regular doctor. He was a health doctor. Yeah, and now he's over housing. But you know that was just because he was uh, black. And, and he, he had to have a, a token, huh? Yeah. So they pick a doctor. Yeah, that helps. He don't know nothing about. Neighborhoods like this? Yeah, he didn't never, he, he never come from this. He never, he never had to well, walk he the did, streets. Well, he did live in public housing as a child. Did he? Yeah. yeah. And when did he move out? Congratulations to being <laughs> public housing. You know, right. Back in the day, yeah. it wasn't bad. No, it wasn't. And most black people lived in public that's, housing. That's why that development was there. When they built that, that wasn't a bad site. Mm -hmm. And you know what? The people. When they had the lead, found out about the lead, the news people coming in all over the world. When they came to this complex, they couldn't believe it was a, a, a low income complex. That's right. That's they right. said, this is a, it looks like a, a subdivision. I mean, it's. You got a, a, a luxury sized pool and everything, but it's a, basically, it's a project. You got, you got, it's a project. You got brick homes, mm -hmm. single family homes, homes uh, what know, a, what's three and four and five, five bedrooms. bedrooms. You know, how can the five bedrooms, the ones back on yeah, the canal. Mm -hmm. That was a project. That was a step up. <laughs> it was. Yeah. And that just show you how far advanced Patrick was. Because those homes, are, you would look expect for those to be built during this time. Not back in the 60s. That was so advanced. That project over there was so advanced. It's just unbelievable. That's true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was way ahead of his time on that. I'm going to stop there.